Let's search for anything inside of VS Code. So the fastest way, if you just want to find a certain file, you can go up here to the top search bar, click on it, and then start typing the file name. So say I want button support and I can hit enter and it opens up my button support. That's the first way where you can search by name of a file directly. Now, another way that you can search is you can also go to this left-hand side and click on this search icon, or you can hit control shift F. Now this will search for text inside of files. So if I type button, you'll see that I'll get a list of files that have the word button inside of them. So if I were to say, open this up in the editor, I get a better view of where those files are as well as what's inside of them. I can open those up by just double clicking anywhere within this file and it opens it up. I can also get a preview of the file by double clicking on the file itself. If I double click it, I get a preview window here and I can close out of that. Now there are a few other options that you can do in order to get the most accurate result that you want. So here you can see like I have this word button down here, but it's not the exact text that I wrote up here. You see that the case is different. If I click on this first option inside of this text box, it will match the case. So it will remove those that don't exactly align with what I have written here. The second option is to match the whole word. So things like button support, where it is one whole word, but you know there's, there's no space, it won't match this particular file. If I click on this, you'll see I'll only get results where the whole word is matched. And that's prepended or appended with a special character or a space or a new line or something like that. The last option is to use regular expression. And this will allow you to search for pretty much anything using just regular expressions. If I click on this and say I delete the O and the T, and then I add a regular expression to say A to Z and any number of them, I'll get the same results here because now I have button and button and all of these different results that match this regular expression inside of this uh, tag that I have. So those are those three options. Let's go back to just the basic button. And we have these three dots down here. If we click them, we can actually include and exclude certain files or folders that we don't want to appear in the search. So I can see that I have this app folder that has results and I have a just open folder that has results. If I do files to exclude, I can type in app and it will remove all of those files that are specific to the app. You can see I now have 100 results as opposed to 140. If I remove this and say files to include and do app, you'll see that I now have the 40 other results that I didn't have in the last search. There is a button on the right over here to only search for open editors. So basically when you open a file and you have it in your editor over here, you can click on this button to only have the files included inside of the open files that you have in your editor. Another way you can search by doing something similar to this is going to the Explorer and then right clicking on a folder and then going to find in folder or hitting shift alt F with that folder selected. It will do the exact same thing as we've done before. You notice I have this option to for just the open editors. None of these files are in the app folder. So if I unclick this, I'll now get the search results that I'm expecting with all of the files only located inside of the app folder. Now, another option that you have inside of files to include and files to exclude is using something called a glob star. This allows you to search for files and folders that may be inside of child and child and child directories inside of whatever directory you want to search for. So here I have app and then maybe I want to do lead. I can do this search like this and you see it excluded API, which could be anything in, in between this, as long as it starts with app and ends with the lead folder, I'm looking for those specific search results. This is very useful for when you don't want to write out a whole path to the folder that you're just trying to search in. And the same thing is available for the files to exclude as well. Now there is one more way to search and that's inside of a file itself. If you're clicked onto the editor, you can hit control F and it will show this find window. From here, you can type in whatever you wanna find. And then when you hit enter, it'll traverse through the next occurrence of that particular piece of text. You also have the same three options over here that you do in the search tab. There is one other option though, and that is to search in the selection. So if I were to say select 
a large portion here, and then I wanted to search just inside of that selection, I can hit find in selection, and it will just give me the results based off of what I have inside of this selection. And that is the basics on how to search inside of VS Code.